All right, my headset on because everything usually starts out like this. And let me find my controllers. There it is. Okay, let me just set this up. <laughs> oh, yes, new guns. What I'm interested in this week is this. Ooh, finally. I mean, it's not the first movie weapon we had in the game. Where is it? I'm trying to find it. There it is. This is, um, if I remember correctly, this is the gun from Firefly? Alright. It's, uh, yeah, I'm not too familiar with Firefly, to be honest. That's a little beyond my time, but, but yeah, you know, yeah, there you go, but what I'm familiar with is Deckard's blaster from Blade Runner, just eject that uh, thermal clip, I think that's what they call it nowadays, let's get rid of that for a minute, but yeah, it's, it's pretty cool, it's pretty much uh, Deckard's blaster, you know, Harrison Ford, Blade Runner, 1980s. <laughs> it's got a little built-in laser sight. And, uh, oh yeah. It's got like six different types of ammo. This is a uh, swarm shot. Alright. Oops. And I think this is a five, five, five chamber. Five rounds. That's four. Come on, there we go. So, oh, I'm just gonna do it this way because I am a little left handed. But yeah, pretty much. I don't really need to aim because uh, it's got a laser sight. But that's the scatter shot. Put that down. Oops. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go like this because I'm hitting my wall. This is the slugger. Oops. Let me see. That is four. And that's five. Oh, that's weird. Anyways, I'm going to switch over hand because this is a righty gun. And this is uh, slug rounds, I think, so. Oh, yeah, it is. All right. Works like any other revolver. It's actually a little uh, too cluttered on the uh, controller there, so I end up hitting it. <clears throat> But what's cool about this is, let me spawn lock these, comes with a battery, okay, and then of course, oh, that's right, he added that function so that you can handle the, uh, you can get access to the bolt easier. And it has a thermal clip, let me just put that in, it's kind of hard to do, <laughs> but uh, losing tracking for some reason, probably the mirror I got over there, but. So yeah, basically it's got a little battery and a thermal clip, and if you press down on the touchpad, you got all these, uh, you know, you got the green light. What does that mean? Well, I guess it says it charges up the bullets. Ooh. Hey, you have to wait for each round to charge up, but you can just go all ham and start spamming rounds, but it'll be like the second, I don't know how to explain it, but uh, you have, pretty much you have to wait for it to charge up, so it's like, and then now it's charged. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I remember the, the recording only captures the left eye. And you just keep doing this. 
using these charged up shots. Oh. <laughs> Again, I'm left-handed, so this is all really weird to me. You can see a gun starting to smoke. There's a really cool like implementation of how a fictional gun should work, because you don't really see it that much in the movie being used. And in the movie, it's, it just shoots it. I guess without the battery or if there is a thermal thermal clip, I don't know. He never uses it. So this is really interesting. Like the developer decided to add these little uh, touches, so to say. Basically, yeah, so if you use the battery too much, it drains, which is close to at the moment. And uh, if you shoot too much charge, then the thermal clip gets hot. And, um, well... Let's see how hot it can go. Oops, I think I'm out of battery. Let me just change the battery here. Put the battery in there. Oops. All right, keep going, keep going. Let's push this, push this thing to the limit. Ooh, it's getting hotter. Oh, in the game. I mean, not in real life. <clears throat> so at this point, I think it's pretty much safe to say that this thing is... Uh, what the developer said, that uh, if it's this hot, then its uh, accuracy goes down. So basically, what you have to do is change the thermal clip or thermal block. I don't know what to really call it. Cool. It's still going to be hot, but that's why you need to add another one. Oh, see? There we go. And it should, uh, it should cool down. <clears throat> of course, it's a revolver, so you can spin it. <laughs> I don't know why you want to do that, but, uh, it's cool. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, it's kind of hard for lefties, but. Damn it, press the wrong button. I think I'm charged. Yeah, and if you want to get rid of that, just. Oh, God. <clears throat> what other rounds are there? Let me see. That's Slugger. This is Fragmentation. I'm just going to do this normally. I should have I should have set this all up before I started recording, but I, I just got too excited. Because uh, this gun doesn't appear too much in uh, other properties. I think the only games that I know that this gun appears in is this, which is new, obviously, uh, but also Fallout One and Two. And Fallout New Vegas. And, uh, oh yeah, the uh, Blade Runner game by Westwood. The adventure game. So, I mean... It's not it's not in many games often. This is the Proximity Mine. I'll just uh, add a couple of rounds here. But yeah, it's not in many games. And it's probably because it's sort of a copyrighted thing. But, I mean, if you change the name and... <clears throat> don't reference uh, Blade Runner, then I guess you're good. I mean, in Fallout, it was known as that gun. So. But, yeah, there's only, like, two games that the, this gun has been in. This is the Tracer round. Hold on, let me get rid of this. Okay, I don't know how the developer does it so fast. He 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 like uh, I don't know. He's he's played the game a lot. I guess <laughs> he's the developer, but he does it really fast. All right, let's uh, get some new rounds in here. This is the tracer, not that tracer from Overwatch, but uh, bullet tracer. I don't know if you can see the tracer. Oh, you can. It's really hard. Uh, 
Come on, there we go. Oh, I'm losing tracking because I think one of the mirrors is open. There's like a bunch of mirrored walls that open up and uh, also my placement of lighthouses isn't optimum. I had to move them. So, yeah. And the last one is Turbo Penetrator. Uh, okay, let me see. Two, three, four, five. There we go. Let's spawn lock these. And uh, awkwardly place these bullets inside the chambers. And you know what? Let's add the battery. And thermal clip. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Oh, okay. It's ready. Isn't this a turbo penetrator, right? Oops. Oh, should I wait for it to charge? <sighs> this is pretty cool. <laughs> and again, like I said, you only see this gun rarely in video games. So it's always good in my book to have uh, another version of the Deckard's Blaster from Blade Runner. Look at this thermal clip. Oh, wow. <laughs> hit, my, hit my headset. That's cool. And then the battery. Whoever modeled this did a really good job, too. Really nice. Ooh, can't see what that says. Oh, it's a battery. <laughs> that is nice. That is a nice model. Let me look at the gun a couple more. Ooh. Yeah, don't do this in real life. <laughs> don't look down the barrel of a gun. That is a bad idea. <laughs> oh, let me take the battery out. And you know what? Let's take out the thermal clip. Bing! <laughs> yeah, that's like a, that's a Steyr. Uh, if I remember from the actual prop. I just like kit bash together some weirdness. Uh, actually, I remember correctly, the, the grip is uh, transparent. <clears throat> or it's like, it's transparent with an orangish, orangish like hue. But, uh, you know, transparency is pretty hard to do in video games because... Oh, wait, it is actually a little bit. Oh, it is. Huh. You just noticed that. Huh. And that is pretty cool. It's a little darker. Well, actually, I think the... Actually, the, wow. Well, I need to see... Uh, I need to see the actual prop again. But this is the other gun that he included. It's the Mauser C96. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Because I'm not German. But uh, it's funny that I think about it. This is a... Uh, this is the base for Han Solo's gun. Han Solo's blaster in Star Wars. Uh, and I understand why he didn't put the uh, blaster in here. Because Disney, you know... They uh, love suing people. So... <clears throat> that would be a bad thing. So, yeah. We get the um, sort of Han Solo's blaster. Oh, I just used up the clip. <laughs> Let me see if I can find another clip here. Um, actually, I don't know where this is located. Hold on. Oh, there it is. Let's get another uh, Mauser clip. Stick that in there. Push that down. <laughs> now, if you know, he could just put a little uh, accessories all over the gun. Maybe you can make it a Han Solo blaster. Uh, well, you know, Disney. So, yeah. <laughs> Would be funny, though, if in the next World War II update, uh, he includes a Webley revolver so you can have the trifecta of Harrison Ford weapons, starting with Deckard's blaster, Han Solo's blaster, and Indiana Jones's revolver. I think it was a Webley. I'm not too sure anymore. I haven't seen Indiana Jones in like years. Need to rewatch it, but that would be really, really funny if he did that. But this thing, oh, this thing is so good. Look at that. Look at it in the light. <laughs> Ooh. Of course, you can spin the barrel. I love this. <clears throat> 
not proper range procedure. Always aim it down range. But uh, yeah, that is so cool. Wow. You know what? <laughs> I just had a good idea. Hold on. Uh, uh, where is that? There it is. LAPD 2019 special. Uh, let's go with this. Okay, let's unlock that. It's kind of hard to see where my guns are. Let me adjust my... <laughs> I need that deluxe audio strap. I got two of them. All right. Ah, nice. Oh, ah, I actually hit my chair. It's right here. I need to push it. <laughs> oh, nice. And then you just do this, this, <laughs> a little sharp movement there to remove the shells. And actually, oh, because I can't see. Oh, my headset's not on my head properly. This will be better. Okay, one more salvo. <laughs> of course, this isn't the one with the uh, thermal clip. Oh, it is. I'll just I'll just eject that. But yeah. <laughs> now all they need is a uh, on solo blaster. And we're all set. <clears throat> Maybe Indiana Jones too. Oh, whoops. Come on. There we go. <sighs> Let's see if I can hit bullseye on this thing. Oh! That was close. Not quite. <laughs> oh, and I cannot wait for the World War II update. He's already added the ammunition types, and um, it's coming soon. Put that there. <laughs> uh, that's pretty much it for the new update. It's really cool, though. Let me just <laughs> let me just stop the recording. I was gonna put the I was gonna put the controller down on this table, then I just realized that there is no table in real life, so. <laughs> I have to actually find my table. Where is it? Uh, here it is. See, now they're floating. And I need to stop recording now. <laughs>